Hi there, this is Fixed It. There are times when your Android device is going to lock up and start misbehaving. One of the easiest things to do is to do a hardware reset. Before you do a hardware reset, make sure that you set up the Android so that it backs up all of your settings and files to Google because this procedure will wipe your device and then should be reloaded from Google. Having shut down, I've now restarted it by holding down the power button and the down volume button at the same time and this is the screen it brings me to. I can now use the up volume button to change the status at the moment if I click the power button again it will just restart. Now if I press the up it will go to power off recovery mode and it's recovery mode that I actually want so now I hit the power button It now brings me to this screen where it says no command. Now if I hold the power button and the volume up button and press them both together, it now brings me to this screen. I'm now presented with a number of options. Reboot the system now, apply update for ADB, wipe data and factory reset and wipe the cache partition. Now I'm going to move down the device again and select wipe data and factory reset and I now press the power button and what it does is it confirms all of the wipes that need to be done and now I scroll down and I also delete all user data. So this is going to completely wipe the machine and I've already wiped the cache. So it says confirm wipe of all user data. This cannot be undone. So before you continue with this step, as I say, make sure that you've done a complete backup. I can't be held responsible for any data loss that may occur during this process, but this will wipe the machine and set it back to its factory settings. Okay, so I press the power button again. And the erasing process begins. Okay, data wipe and complete wipe complete. And now it's come back to the reboot system now. So I now press the power button. And it will restart the Google Android device. The device I'm using here is a Nexus 7. So we get the, uh, the Nexus 7 splash screen. We're now at the Nexus 7 original reboot screen and you select the country and in my case it's United Kingdom and then we start the setup procedure. Once it's all completed your uh, setup complete screen will appear and then you're ready to go. You've now got a factory reset and hopefully everything is a lot more stable than it was before. If you find the video useful please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with other users. Thanks for watching this has been Fixed It. Bye.